Percy Jackson and the Olympians was a massive success, but some things will need to be changed for the next season and it's difficult to predict whether these changes will be popular among fans. The fans might have noticed that during the show, Percy changed from being a child to becoming a teenager in the span of a few episodes. And the reason was that Walker couldn't stop growing. It made the storytelling trickier as the change was starting to be easily noticeable when in one episode, Percy grew several centimeters. The change was even more pronounced while being next to Walker's co-stars, Leah and Arian. The problem was that the episodes were filmed out of order, which made the watching experience funnier because in one scene, Walker was almost a head taller than Leah and in the next, they were more similar in height. The same problem will probably be present also in season two as Walker becomes taller with each passing day. For the production, it'd be best to make the next seasons as fast as possible because of the issue. When one of the showrunners, Jonathan Steinberg, was asked about the problem and said, they're human beings, we're gonna grow, and so we're gonna make a show with the kids we have and everything else will fall into place. So far, they are in no haste to move on with production of another season as they're not scared of running out of time just because Walker is taller. According to Steinberg, the way the happenings of each novel are written gives production time to deal with the growth spurts and changes as the books start a year after each of them. In the interview, Steinberg said, these are the kids and they are perfect. So I'm excited to see, hopefully, what they can do going forward. What's more, the age difference between the book characters and their show counterparts will be different. In the second book, Percy and Annabeth are supposed to be 13, but Walker recently celebrated his 15th birthday. Many fans joked that he's now biblically accurate Percy from the last book of Reardon's series, The Last Olympian. But it's not like this is happening for the first time in big franchises. Harry Potter is a great example where actors played teenagers even though they were in their 20s. When it comes to the cast, some people that we've seen will remain, others will join the list or will be given much more screen time. During the filming of season one, Lance Reddick, who portrayed Zeus, sadly passed away. The eighth episode of the show where Percy confronts Zeus was his last ever performance. But Zeus is important for the series, which means the production will be forced to find another actor to take his place. Steinberg said in the interview that the production will try to respect and honor Lance's performance while also finding the right person for the job. The casting will be difficult because it's not easy to have two different actors become the same person they portray and whoever will take upon the challenge won't have an easy job. Dan Schott said in the interview, what's nice about what's gonna happen this week is that Lance Reddick will be immortalized as Zeus. Whatever takes place down the road we can deal with. According to Steinberg, they still have enough time to cast the perfect person as Zeus won't appear anytime soon in the series but we're about to meet brand new characters as well. One of them is Cyclop named Tyson, Poseidon's son and Percy's brother, who meets Percy at his new school. Tyson is an important new character as he's a member of Percy's quest to save the camp and Grover. Another character will be Thalia, the daughter of Zeus, who was previously a tree that protected the camp from monsters. In the Sea of Monsters, her tree is poisoned and demigods are sent on a quest to look for Golden Fleece, which is their only chance to repair the borders. The fleece, however, works too well and Thalia becomes once again a person. She'll have a much bigger role next season as she's another forbidden child who might mix up future events, but her casting might present a big challenge to the casting department because they need to find a person whose appearance won't change much through the years because of the events in the next novels. It'll be interesting to see how they'll handle it. Another character that will receive more screen time is Ares's daughter Clarice LaRue, who is tasked to find the Golden Fleece and save the camp. In the first season, we saw her only in a hand full of scenes, but in the next season, she becomes much more important as she collaborates with Percy in saving Grover and later the camp. What's more, for the first time, we might see her interacting with Ares, who won't be nice to her. In the book, he insists that she needs to be successful in the quest because otherwise Percy will get the chance and that's something Ares, to put it lightly, doesn't want. Luke Castellan will also get much more space. Season one gave us several scenes with him in the camp where he became Percy's friend. But Luke betrayed Percy by joining Kronos in his cause, almost sending him to Tartarus with his flying shoes and hurting him in the final sword fight. After that, he ran away from the camp, but his storyline is far from being finished, and we'll get to meet him in the next season. In the novel, he and other turn 
and demigods are sailing on the ship Andromeda, which is full of monsters, where they manage to capture Percy and Annabeth. Luke admits that it was he who poisoned Thalia's tree, which will be felt deeply by Annabeth as Thalia was Luke and her friend. He also manages to make Kiran the main suspect in the poisoning of the tree. What's more, he tries to recruit Percy and Annabeth for his cause, which ends up in a duel between him and Percy that Luke easily wins, but they're saved by Chiron and his family, also known as Party Ponies. While Annabeth and Percy will spend time together, Grover will get his own storyline, where he'll be wearing a wedding dress and pretending that he wants to marry a cyclops named Polyphemus to save his life, which will be a huge change for the first time he'll be alone. The second book of Reardon series is far shorter than The Lightning Thief, which might bring more content that is not in the book. Season 1 already made many changes to better fit the narrative of how gods are using demigods for their profit, and Season 2 might dig even deeper. There's a possibility that we'll get more flashback scenes from Percy's childhood and his interactions with his mother Sally that made Percy a well-rounded character. But flashbacks might not concern only Percy, but other characters as well. We might see why Annabeth once again runs away from her father, and the parallel of doing it for the first time together with Thalia and Luke, which will be important for Season 2. The show could show us how the trio was surviving and how they reached the camp while fighting the monsters. The flashback could explain Annabeth's fear of Tyson and the Cyclops in general. Another flashback might be from Luke's life with his mother, Mae Castellan. In the novel, it's Luke's father Hermes who asks Percy to go on the quest and gives them everything necessary in exchange for Percy asking Luke to come back home because he loves him. We already saw Hermes in the Casino Lotus where he told Percy and Annabeth that he tried with Luke but it wasn't easy. If we saw Luke interact with his mother, who lost her mind after trying to become the Oracle of Delph, Luke blames Hermes for her state, and with the happenings in the second season, there's a real possibility that the audience might get to see Happy Luke with his mother. With the popularity of the series, Disney might decide to give more space to the show. The episodes could be longer, and there could be at least 10 episodes. The length of episodes was the biggest complaint from the fans as the plot had to be rushed, and many things things from books were left out or changed so the production would manage to tell the story in those eight episodes. Longer episodes could bring longer, more complicated fights where Percy could show his natural skills. Also, the audience could get much more time in the camp, which is under the new government of Tantalus, who brought back a tradition of chariot racing but in the most dangerous way possible. Another thing that could change in the adaptation could be the introduction of the key characters that are introduced much later in the novels and appear only for a short time when they become important. Examples are Selena Beauregard and Charles Beckendorf. As the title of the next book suggests, the characters will spend time in the ocean where Percy can show off his water powers inherited from Poseidon and maybe learn something new. But with the plot moving to water, Walker will need to spend much more time filming underwater than before. And that's not an easy task for the young actor, even though he already learned how to speak underwater. Walker said in the interview that that he's already nervous because the last time he did was only for two days and his eyes were burning from keeping them open. The shooting will be challenging for the cast, but the production already found its way around some things, so in some aspects it should be easier. Now we'll have to wait for the official confirmation of the development of season two, but the signs that the show will continue are here. The writer's room is open and the actors in the production are ready to come back. Now it's Disney who should do a move and renew the show.